All right, back to school for a lot of the kiddos. Yeah, that's kind right. Kind of a warm and muggy day out there. Mm, very humid. <laughs> it's still feeling yeah. like the middle of summer despite sure. the kids uh-huh. heading back to school. That's right. Mm. Uh, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Cooler temperatures, they're slowly going to work their way back yeah. into our area. We just got to pack our patients and wait until September rolls around, which is now less than a week away as we take a live look across our area. Mostly cloudy skies, a bit of haze in the atmosphere from the abundant moisture and humidity as we sit at a very toasty 91 degrees well above our average for this time of year. Thankfully, the moisture helping to reduce our fire potential at least through the I-5 quarter. But as we move our way through the rest of the night, cooler temperatures helping to turn those dials back before they ramp back up again tomorrow. That comes as the lightning threat is going to be the biggest risk, stretching anywhere from central Oregon all the way up through the Cascades of western Washington. That's where dry lightning poses the biggest threat to starting and spreading new fires. That's exactly what we're seeing right now. But the look at our radar over the past two hours, a lot of those lightning strikes through the central regions of not only Oregon, but also Washington. It's the lightning that is embedded within these thunderstorms that have a lesser chance as opposed to, say, a bolt from the blue, a lightning strike that extends out from the rain band that could potentially start and spread those fires more rapidly as the mostly cloudy skies can still be seen across our area. Again, maybe a bubble up lightning storm or two, a possibility over the Cascades for the rest of this evening as we keep things calm until tomorrow afternoon, seeing kind of a spattering of that lightning potential again for the southern and central sections of our state. All garden variety not expected to turn severe for us, although even today we saw one severe thunderstorm warning out towards the Mount St. Helens area. Rinse and repeat scenario for us on Wednesday as well, all because of the monsoonal moisture pulling a lot of the Pacific air up into the Pacific Northwest. But the good news is all of this starts to drift its way further to the south as we move our way closer into Thursday and eventually Friday with this latest low, helping to keep things slightly on the cooler side as we approach the weekend. Right now, 91 degrees with mostly cloudy skies out over downtown Portland on this Tuesday evening as our air quality continues to fall back to that moderate level for much of the I-5 corridor. We are expected to finally shake ourselves free of some of this wildfire smoke as we move our way towards the end of the week. Again, those fires that are still burning out towards the Lane Douglas County area and out towards Jefferson County still posing a bit of a impact as maybe a raindrop or two is possible for the Portland Vancouver area as we move our way into Wednesday morning, but drier skies that is going to start to take shape as we move our way into Thursday, filling up the rain gauge to pretty much nothing at all. Consider yourself lucky if you actually see a raindrop or two as our seven day forecast does paint a pretty dry picture for us over the next seven days, expecting nothing but the summer warmth, the low 90s once again, falling back though closer to the average of the low 80s for this time of year for the weekend. The final weekend of August as we start September on a more warmer note at 85 and then the low 90s return by the middle of next week. You know what? Saturday and Sunday this upcoming weekend look a whole lot better than the last. Oh, yes. No <laughs> yep. more triple digits. That's we right. hope. Yeah. All right, Josh. Thank you. Yeah, we'll be right back.